What's going on gamers? How's it going? Shiz here with a setup video. Something I've been pushing off for at least six months now ever since I completely redid mine. Uh, I always find these videos interesting and cool personally to see how people do what they do. And I know some of my viewers were curious on how I get everything going. So I figured, yeah, let's make a video. My setup is not like a $10,000 fancy thing. It's a lot of just average, like, I don't even know the names of my monitors. But if you just wanted to see how I make my stream look and sound professional without, you know, like I said, dumping insane amount of some money into it. Uh, yeah, check it out. I hope you enjoy. Let me know if you do or you don't. If you don't, you know, fuck yourself. <laughs> All right, let's do it. We're going to start from the back and work our way up. This is the green screen, obviously. It used to be on two uh, tripods with a curtain rod, and then eventually I added a board in between so that it kept nice and straight. But the problem with that was that I always had a shimmy in here and I could barely move to get around it. So that got annoying real quick. So the first thing that I did when I changed everything was I made sure to pin it to a wall. Uh, the annoying thing is that it covers my closet, so the rare times that I gotta go in, uh, it's a big pain in the ass, but you know, it's a small price to pay for it to actually work nicely. And then the excess that I cut off on the side, I put on the bottom because the camera picks up just a little bit of it. So it looks gross here, but on camera it looks totally fine. And then I have this old tripod blasting onto it to keep it nice and well lit. This actually belonged to my grandfather. And uh, yeah, when I was like looking for lighting, I was like, oh, this is lying around. Let me use it. And I just never changed it since because it gets the job done. Here you got the most extra looking Xbox One X on the planet because <clears throat> it has its own little table. Now, you might think that's like ridiculous, but it's flat out because it used to be on the desk here. But the microphone would pick up the fan whenever it was working really hard. So I figured instead of the stream sounding like shit, I would just uh, distance it a little bit, keep it off the ground so that it's went well ventilated, sorry. And uh, so yeah, it looks super extra, but the camera doesn't see it. Uh, it breathes and the mic doesn't pick it up. So whatever. Now, if I move into my chair here, this is the newest addition besides the mouse pad that I added literally 30 minutes ago. This is the Mayflash Arcade Fight Stick F300. What's cool is that it's not only like an old school uh, arcade stick, which I still haven't used properly, but I want to with um, Dragon Ball Fighters. But it's also a turbo controller. So if you don't know what that is, you can basically just set it to keep mashing a button. And what that does is like right now I have it running to give you an example. There's an achievement in Dragon Ball Fighters that requires hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of hours of pointless grinding. And it's the dumbest achievement ever. But basically, I've left this going on while I was at work. And that's the wrong screen. Because I'm well prepared. Ba -ba 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 -ba. How you doing? What's up? You good? Life's good? Why is this not? Okay, so there you go. It's basically just mashing A and just winning this game over and over and over and making me money without me having to spend hundreds of hours of my time on something so stupid. Now, if I go back here, you got a whiteboard. So I just did the March whiteboard. You can see it's not very packed just because the games that I'm going to be playing are going to be long ones. Like I'm going to be on Yakuza for at least another week and a half, two weeks, but like basically until Ori comes out and then that's apparently quite a long game. So that's going to hold me till Doom. Anyways, so that's the whiteboard. Here you got Casual Goku. That was sent to me by a viewer a couple of weeks ago and I didn't know what it was. So that was super, super cool. And then uh, Bikini Bulma. A week later, this guy inspired another viewer to send me this because he's trolly boli oli. Sorry about the finger. So then I busted out the homies, Cuphead, Devil, and Ronin from Guardians of the Galaxy that were not on my desk until I decided to add them to the crew. You can see I have a bunch of 360 games here. It's because this monitor that I use for chat and everything is smaller than the other one. And I personally just like the tops lined up more than the bottom. That's just my preference. So this monitor, you got OBS in the top left, Streamlabs for my alerts on the bottom left, and then here's my chat. So that's what it looks like on my end when I'm streaming. And that way I can monitor everything on the top right of the dashboard right now is my offline screen, but it's usually a little preview, preview window so I could just make sure that everything is running nice and smooth. Um, here you got the Rode, Rode one, uh, what the hell is it? Rode PSA 1 or Rode 1 PSA arm. It's a beast and it's strong enough to hold this heavy, heavy blue Yeti. Uh, I need to clean it. There's spit all over it for me screaming at shit. But um, Mike, as you can see with silver, I put this, this rubber 
a black case on it just because I thought it looked cleaner, ironically. Uh, then you got my gaming monitor, which is set up so that there's an HDMI cable and a DVI cable so that if I want to, the rare times I want to do a PC game or bring up a video on stream or something, I could just switch and now it's a double, it's a second PC monitor. Also very handy if I'm doing like YouTube thumbnails or whatever. So instead of, you know, messing with wires, it's set up that way. Same as this little guy here, this HDMI switch. Right now I only have the Xbox One X and the Nintendo Switch plugged in, but I also have an Xbox 360 around the corner. But basically, I just press a button, and instead of messing around with wires or whatever, I switch from the Xbox and the Switch back and forth. There's like five inputs and one output, so I can have up to five things plugged in at once. So if I wanted to, I could have, you know, an Xbox, a PlayStation, a Switch, whatever. So it's super practical, because before I used to always mess around with wires anytime I wanted to change consoles, which is obviously a big waste of time. Um, down here, you got a charging station for two Xbox controllers. What's nice is that the batteries on them, like it's just the back of the controllers open, so you just slide it in. So basically, I keep one fully charged and then there's one that I'm currently using. And when the one that I'm using dies on me, I'm not just shit out of luck looking for batteries. I just throw it on the dock, grab the one that's already charged and I'm good to go. There you got the switch. The Pro Controller is up here, and its case is up here. Um, I got the Turtle Turtle Beach Atlas Titanfall headset that I've had for like five, six years now. It sounds great. I love how it looks. I like that it's got its little volume slider and amp and everything here. It's, it's, it's a great little thing. Keyboard and mouse, I just literally have the ones that came with my PC. Like, I don't PC game, so I don't need some beast-ass RGB fucking crazy shit. It's literally just as vanilla as you can get uh, a little while ago i did cable management i literally just got some some velcro wraps on amazon it was like 10 bucks for a hundred or something and uh yeah i saw everything luckily this desk as much as one thing i need to replace is this desk because you can see like the shelves are in the way and i have big long ass legs i want something that's like open but one thing that's nice is the bars obviously gives me something to uh wrap everything on and you get it out of the way. It's also super practical when I'm vacuuming that I don't have to fuck around with anything, you know? Uh, so everything goes into the PC tower. Ba -ba -ba -ba. This guy is a dinosaur at this point because he's like five years old, six years old maybe. So, uh, you know, it gets the job done, but I need to replace that in the near future because it's showing its age big time. Uh, this headset is the one I use with my phone, whatever. Um, I have the light switches here, so it's easy to access. Those are the ones that are on top of my monitor to blast on me. When I got this monitor, it was too big, so I ended up having to get creative and jack them up. So that's another thing too. I need to replace these lights so that I can free up some desk space, back up the monitor a bit, and you know, give myself a little more room. The mic arm needs to clamp on to something, but the back of this desk is flat and the front is round so there's nothing to clamp onto so what i did was i took out a shelf here i have the towel so that there's no dust that gets in but uh yeah and then just filled it with wood that way it would be nice and sturdy and not move and it would gives it something to clamp on so it looks super ghetto but it gets the job done so i really don't care then here you can see i have a 360 controller the 360 is tucked behind my tv uh before i got this monitor that i'm using now to game I used to have the one monitor there and then the TV here and to like on an angle, which is why I used to always be facing the side. So now obviously that was the first thing that I wanted to change was that I have a monitor that I'm facing. It looks better on camera, it gives me more options where I could put my camera. Obviously I kept the TV cause it's a nice TV. So I'd basically just use this now for like when I'm going to bed. But the 360, what I like is where I placed it. If I want to stream it, I can just unplug it from the TV and plug it into the HDMI switch, which is right there. There's plenty of room. So it takes me an entire, you know, one minute and then I'm good to stream it. If you're wondering why there's a pillowcase here, this chair is just like beat to shit now. It's all torn up. So I basically just put a pillowcase so that it's not a disgusting mess. And um, yeah, that's basically it. As you can see, it's not that fancy. It's basically just two monitors, a mic in the middle. Uh, like I said, I just got this mouse pad 
tonight because I used to have three coasters because I'd have a coffee, water, and then sometimes a beer or a soft drink or whatever. I just thought it looked super gross to just have coasters all over the fucking place. So I just got a mouse pad so that it's a lot more clean. And um, yeah, I mean, you know, as you could tell, it's like old furniture, it's old lighting and everything is very like basic, but you know, it looks good. From, uh, I mean, you can see right here, it looks totally fine. It sounds really good. And um, yeah, so hope you guys like the video. And uh, hopefully you found it interesting or maybe give you a, a few ideas if you were like, oh, my, I need my lights to be higher or, you know, my mic won't clamp onto something. Maybe just shove two by fours in a drawer. <laughs> no, but uh, for real, I hope you guys liked it. And, you know, I hope it tickled your fancy. Have a good one.